Hello everybody. Oh, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Once again, happy new year. Welcome to 2019. If you're watching this video, it means that you made it. And we have to return our glory and praise to God Almighty for bringing us to say this new year. A lot of people have gone, have died, some are in the hospital, um, some are in the prison, but the Lord has kept us alive to see this beautiful day, the first day of 2019 and the very first month of this new year. I am your brother, Hosanna David. Welcome. This is Ego Eye Opener. Uh, you can visit my website, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I have a message I just want to uh, pass on to us today. I am actually in a primary school. Uh, if you can see the environment very well, I'm in a primary school. Yes, and I purposely come here so that I can deliver this message. We have to do something. This is the new year and the Lord puts this message in my heart to share it with us. Uh, while I was in church and this is a message I had in my heart, which I believe that the Lord actually put it in my heart to share with the good people of God. I have come to notice something we a lot of believers don't want to pass through any form of stress but when i look at the scripture jeremiah chapter 4 verse 4 it says that we should circumcise ourselves unto the lord we should remove the first skin of our hearts circumcision is actually a very painful thing and that is what i want us to do this new year we need to take our new year resolution we need if you have not made your new year resolution it is not too late you can still make your new year resolutions and some of these resolutions may not be very very comfortable with us we may not be very very comfortable with them because it could look very very painful uh, circumcision is cutting your flesh jeremiah 4 4 says remove the first king of your heart remove that fleshy part of your heart that part that is worldly that part that is not of god that part that is not making you to move forward you have to cut it off this is a new year and if we must progress we must not continue to do the things that we usually do that cause us failure we have to change your strategy and Hold on to the things that can make us grow. Why do I have to come to this primary school? Yes, I have to come here because uh, I, I, my mind went back to uh, the time of growing up. We force our children to go to school. Even when they don't want to go, there are some children who are stubborn. They don't like school because of the stress that school... Uh, uh, normally, the stress associated with going to school. So a lot of students children don't want to go to school but we force them because we know that when they go to school they will become somebody tomorrow uh, in our modern society uh, there is actually no uh, there are there is actually very slim chances for illiterate people to succeed in our modern society so we force our children to go to school even when they cry we make sure we discipline them we wake them up we make sure that they read the books instead of enjoying themselves because we know we actually sowing something into their life that they are going to reap tomorrow john chapter 15 verse 2 jesus said that if any plant any branch refuses to bear fruit if any branch does not bear fruit the father will cut it off that but if any branch bears fruit the father is going to prune it and so that it can bring much fruit now pruning is a very painful process is cutting some parts of the plant off and when you do a kind of cutting pruning like that it's painful it's the plant bleeds it loses some some the water and it bleeds for some time but it is actually for the good of the plant that is what it is too god told moses that the children of israel should be circumcised also uh, it began actually before the time of moses in the wilderness it started when it was uh the time god 
was making a covenant with Abraham before God instituted this covenant he told him that everybody has to be circumcised you have to cut off the first skin of the flesh and it was very very it's a painful process abraham that same day took a knife and made sure he circumcised every male in his family adults were all circumcised it's a very painful process if you're doing it as a baby uh, you may not actually uh be able to tell the story but if you're doing it as an adult it is a very very painful process even in the wilderness uh, before the children of israel could actually move into the promised land there was a command that everybody should be circumcised and there was circumcision of all the adults including children all those that were born in the wilderness were circumcised why because there is the part that they need to cut off the part that god does not actually want they need to cut it off. This new year, that part of you that is taking you backward, that addiction, that happy that, that God does not like, that laziness, that gambling, that alcoholism, you need to cut it off from you. You may not be able to do it yourself. You may seek help. You may seek uh, counseling. You may seek spiritual help. Somebody, a Christian brother, sister, to support you in prayer. But one thing is sure you need to make up your mind to cut something off you it may be painful it may cause a lot of bleeding it may cost you uh, some level of comfort but the most important thing is that you are making progress in life what do you need to cut off from your life you need to cut something off i've looked at my life this year there are things i need to cut off i when an ego is uh, is 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 fine if it notice if it notices uh, some feathers that are very old it will pull them all off so that it can bring out new ones new feathers what do you need to cut off cut off that fleshy part of you that is becoming a barrier between you and your spiritual growth don't forget that we as parents we force our children to do good even though they may not like it at that moment, like what uh, Hebrews chapter 12 says, that no discipline seems pleasant to the person receiving it at that moment. If we do not discipline ourselves, if we do not allow the Lord to discipline us and prune us and cut off that fleshy part, that part that does not obey God himself, if we do not allow him to cut it off, it means we are actually calling ourselves as bastards because the child that refuses, that is not disciplined at all, is a bastard. We should not see ourselves as bastard, but we should see ourselves as legitimate children of the kingdom who are subject to the kingdom and the laws of this kingdom. And one of the laws of this kingdom is the circumcision of the heart. The circumcision of the flesh is not so important now because we are not under the law of Moses. This is a new covenant. We are not under the Abrahamic covenant. But the circumcision of the heart because out of the heart the mouth speaketh what we speak at, whatsoever thing we do comes from the human heart whatsoever thing that is not from our heart is hypocrisy is an act of hypocrisy so let us look inward this year if you must move forward cut something off share this video cut something off it may be painful it may cause you some level of bleeding may cause you some level of discomfort but make sure you cut something off by the special grace of god you are going to make it into 2020 2020 you are going to make it but decide to work with the lord and follow your dreams don't let anybody make you give up the lord is near don't stop watching for the return of the lord the lord is near keep watching thank you and god bless you once again happy new year share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel hosanna ee david and igwa bye bye god bless you